Hello. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the use of a tool that allows a user to select a inventory cycle from the Forest Inventory and Analysis or FIA database, download the data, load it into the spreadsheet, and then query the database in various ways using SQL. I've set it up so that the tool is empty in its initial state. I have instructions in this README page, which you should look at first. The first thing that you might encounter is that when you try to open the file, it prompts you with security warnings because it has macros in it. You can enable the macros. Also, you have to enable the content so you can run the file. So the very first step is to go to the setup page. And here I've selected a state that I'm interested in. For example, Maryland. After I type in Maryland here, I will click this button and it will load the file we see to the left. We can see that this file is FIA's pop eval file. In it, each row has a subset of the FIA database for the state I have mentioned, in this case, Maryland. And it lists these evaluations. An evaluation is a group of years. So a user might want a specific group of years for whatever historical purpose. Generally, people are interested in the most recent evaluation, which is often you could scroll down and sort by eval ID to get to the to find out which is the most recent one. The current area and current volume evaluation. That's the, probably the most common one used. So we'll type in that eval ID here, and we hit the load data for eval ID button, and we will see that it will populate the spreadsheet with the tables of interest. So I've hit that button, and what we see is we have the plot table, the subplot table, the tree table, the cond table, which are several of the tables that are used for common FIA data summaries. We can see here that if we look at the plot table, the inventory years uh, range from 2013 to 2019. And we see that in our setup, we asked for this evaluation, 241901. And we can see that this is corresponds with these inventory years. The other files correspond with those same inventory years. So once you've done that, the tool is simply run by going to this SQL's used sheet, putting the SQL of interest using the, the examples as, as templates, and pushing the run below SQL button. What happens is this tool looks in this cell, in this case cell B3, runs the SQL on the tables that are seen here, and returns the results to the sum stats tab. So I'll push the button, and we see that almost instantaneously, we've run the query of interest. So we can see that for each plot CN, which is a plot identifying number, we have the count of trees. Based on what we are looking at here in this SQL use cell. I might want a different query, so I'll select this, which I've saved from the list of query templates. I'll, pay, I'll simply paste that up there, and I'll rerun it, and it will overwrite the existing query. And we can do this for any of these SQLs that are in the list of templates that I've created here. And that's really all there is to it. If for some reason you're getting strange errors, you might have to, you might have the wrong version of Excel. For that, I apologize. Uh, if you if you think you do, you might uh, follow the steps here to try to troubleshoot. It has very limited error checking in this, but you have to add references so that your Excel knows some of the Visual Basic for Applications functions. I explain that here. I give a little example of how you can look at the code. 
And then if you want to understand a little bit about an FIA plot, I have a simple schematic, well, a complicated schematic of what an FIA plot looks like. Anyway, this should get you started and it will allow you to experiment with different SQL queries. I have an example here with the anatomy of an SQL query, which you can study to try to understand the database a little bit better. Good luck.